What's up, everybody? Welcome back to YouTube.com slash Kazrisk here on YouTube.com slash Kazrisk. Today, we're going to be playing a little bit more of that Fire Emblem Three Houses. As you can see here, we have ourselves a mission on the battlefield. It's the rivalry of the houses. Um, the little description here says that it was formerly a promising young... Um, oh, as formerly a promising young mercenary, I am now the newest professor at the prestigious Officers Academy. Students and faculty alike look on me with curiosity as I engage in a mock battle between the school's three houses. And so, a little bit of context here. If you have missed the previous episodes somehow, I don't know how you have, but if you have, you can go watch them over on YouTube.com slash Kazrisk, or I can catch you up right now. Um, we were, we, we got tangled up with this, this, these, this academy in the middle of these three different empires here. You got the Black Eagles, the Golden deer and the blue lions and they kind of all share this academy in the middle of their whole nation of fogland uh, yeah i know it's a lot but anyway they're kind of rivals but they're also kind of living in peace and they do this little mock battle just to have some fun um i'm assuming though because there's some things going on underneath the layers of all of it crests flames prophecies things the flow of time you know it's all coinciding together to make it seem like something's gonna go wrong here and based on some of the marketing based on some of the promotional stuff based on some of the things i've heard around you know the interwebs i know something's gonna be going on here relatively soon obviously we need ourselves a story because we just can't be hanging out at hogwarts all day and so um we're about to do this mock battle i'm pretty sure something's gonna happen here maybe not though maybe not maybe we're just gonna have ourselves a nice little battle and it's just gonna kind of teach me how to fight a little bit i'm not too sure but if you've never seen a Fire Emblem game, it's a strategic little tactical game where you can kind of, it's like, you know, really insane chess of sorts. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I also picked the Black Eagles, black and red and all that. I really like red um, and eagles are dope and things like that. Honestly, there's a lot of people from other houses that I kind of preferred, um, but I heard that maybe I could pick and choose a little bit. I'm not too sure the full extent of it all, but I'm pretty confident that I'm able to bomb with people and I own the game and I can just replay it other times. But yeah, let's go do this. Let's go do this house. Um, in our last episode, we just did a bunch of missions, and so now it's exciting. Um, Thank you so much. What? It's exciting to kind of get into like another battle and like an actual cutscene of sorts. Rivalry of the houses, White Cloud, Chapter One, Three Houses. Rivalry of the houses. That's a good. It's that's a good. Time for the that's a good title for the video, I'd say. All right. Why am I so? Why am I so huge over here in this corner? I feel like I'm bigger than the last Let's Play. There we go. Let's do that. Is that better there? Now, wait a second. Why is it all fuzzy? Why is it all fuzzy, YouTube? Is there a way we can fix that? Can we get rid of this little fuzz? Let's just do... Does this help? No. Does this help? No, that made it even worse, I'd say. What about this? No. What about this? Hmm. It could just be the nature of... Of how things go. But alright, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't I can't adjust it anymore. It's all oh there we go. Perfect. Perfect. And right there. Yay! Maybe that's better. I don't know. Wait, you can see my bedroom. Get it out of there. Get out of there. Nice, perfect. Wait, you can still see it. There we go. And now I'll go boop in my chair. I may edit all that out. I may edit all of it out. All right, finally time for a mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? You know, I, I have a little bit of a hunch that I'm going to be the best in the battlefield. Leave it to me. Ha! So I got confident. This. So confident. This will be interesting. You know, I, in another life, have been the hero of countless Each adventures. Each of us has undergone strict training. We're prepared for anything that comes our way. Oh, please, my dad's like the best in the biz. That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. I'm gonna kill students on the battlefield today. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, no worries. We'll just join in now. Um, Claude, you're the competition. I'm trying to kill you today. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. Oh, Edelgard. Is there enough time to cover them all? Oh, <laughs> Edelgard. Burn. Ah, so you can't win unless you know my weakness. Oh. Poor princess. You really should believe in yourself more. Oh, burn. I spare no effort when pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. <laughs> schemes? Me? I have no idea what you're talking about. I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Claude, you skeevy little man. I know you're up to something. 
Hearing the words fair and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. Oh, Dimitri, you Your silly. Your Highnesses haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? Dimitri is a people reader. Dim Dimitri just knows. No need to poke fun. I will fight with honor. That said, I will fight to win. See, I've, I just, I can't help but shake the fact that Dimitri is like a freaking evil little yes. man. And the same is true of us, right, Professor? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of still sometimes wish I was on Blue Lions. All right, don't go too hard on this. I don't intend to lose. I intend to go out there and grab this battle and go. I don't intend to lose. If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. Oh yeah. Don't, oh, don't do it. How precious. <laughs> Looks like you and the students Manuela. have become fast Hello. friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. I like your coat. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative <clears throat> to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Okay, Hanneman's just one of the dopest people in the world. Not gonna lie. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. All right, Claude. Guard. Professor? Nice. Legit. Legit. Let's get to it. Let's get to some battling. Oh, don't teach me how to fish. I know I was perfect when I did it. I don't know if you saw the last episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses here on YouTube.com slash Cat's Risk, but I threw out that fishing line. I went perfect, perfect, perfect. And it was a thing of beauty. All right, tell me about magic. Magic can provide you a means of attacks and defense to a unit that is skilled of is, uh, uh, is of an appropriate class. You must equip attack magic in place of a weapon, but you can assist magic regardless of other equipment. All magic has limited uses, but these will punished at the end of a battle. The magic your units gain access to is uh, determined by their skill, study, reason to learn black or dark magic, and develop faith to learn white magic. Okay, okay, why is it black magic and then... Faith is white magic. Okay, I got you. I understand, Fire Emblem. I understand how your bread is buttered. Choose the units option to determine whom to send to battle. Press the A button to toggle a unit. Units highlighted in green cannot be excluded. And choose the inventory option to sort items, equip abilities, or combat arts. Assign battalions and change the units' classes. And choose the map option to see the area and the placement of your units. And once your preparations are complete, select white to begin the battle. Alrighty, well, let's select our units here. All right, so, Lionheart, you're cut. Dorothy, get in here. Petra, I need you. Hubert, you're dead to me. Petra, get in here. Um, Edelgard's pretty dope. Ferdinand is a feisty little fella. Oh, but Casper. Ferdinand or Casper is the question. He's a noble. Oh, gosh. Ooh, gosh. This is tough. Hmm. I kind of unit info. Gosh, Ferdinand wasn't the. Is Ferdinand the feisty little skirt chaser? Um. Is there any way to know more about him? I don't know. Oh wait, support. Is there a way to talk to him before we go in? Oh, we got like no conversation. I kind of forgot who Ferdinand was. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, does. Option. Is there like a way? I just want to. Or guide. Monastery. Do I, is there a way to look over like a little quick thing here about the people that I know? Gosh. I kind of forgot who Ferdinand was. Alright. Let's, uh. I'm going to go with Ferdinand for this one, but maybe we'll use Casper for the next one. And I'm sorry, Daishi and all the people that are like, oh, Bernadette is amazing. Ugh. I don't, I don't care about him. I need to turn on my fan, though. I'm getting ready. I'm getting hot and bothered here. I'm getting all excited. Alrighty. Um, ba -ba 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 -booey. Ba -ba booey ba -ba booey Okay, there we go. So we got Ferdinand. Okay, inventory is good. Let's go ahead and save, just because I'm always nervous that everything's going to get deleted. And let's fight. Begin the battle. Route the enemy or route the enemy. Uh, uh, defeat conditions are if Kaz or Edelgard fall in battle. Oh, I couldn't even, I couldn't even not use Edelgard. The battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? Oh, you know it. I'm about to go slice and dice. All right, let's do this dirty thing. Now, can I... I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Dad, duh. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Sure, Dad. Nice. Since this is a practice battle, units are defeated will not be permanently lost. Oh, nice. Cool, because I would restart the game if someone died. 
but good to know that I can let people fall down because I am playing classic mode because classic mode is the only way to go all right now Stay can I focus can I pair myself up with Petra no okay because Petra is the one I'm kind of trying to eyeball here you know what I'm saying okay now wait hold up a minute hold up a minute how do I how do I view there we go there we go and now I want to uh we gotta, this is what I do to start off every battle. I get a feel for the whole area and just see where people can move. I, I like to see where they're capable of going. You know what I'm saying? I already selected that guy. Wait. Because then I like to isolate them one by one. So here's what we're gonna do. Little little butt, butt squeaker here, Lawrence. <laughs> butt squeaker. We're gonna wait right here. Yup. And then Petra, I'm gonna have you back me up here. Got it, Ferdinand? Ferdinand von Eyre. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. That's my cue. Okay. Oh, they kind of tell you that who can attack. That's kind of a nice little visual cue there. All right, Dorothy, we're gonna take the risk and have you be in the 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 danger zone here. I will prevail. And then Edelgard, can we get you over here? No. Okay. Dorothy, I hope you don't get freaking yeeted right now. All right, enemy phase. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Lawrence, you have the freaking coconut head of a lifetime here. Me? But I'm not ready. Oh, Harry Potter, it's okay, man. Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Yeah. Yep. Ash, My gosh, they're all gonna to the talk. Lines. I want to lure the enemy this way. Wait. Got it, your highness. <laughs> Leave it to me. Dimitri's like, hey, Ash, I don't want to get it all scratched up here, but if you go to the front lines, they, they'll bound. They're, they're definitely going to kill you, so just go for Once it. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you? Mercedes, keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm sure my battery's fine, but actually, wait. Do I have a little... Wait a second. Oh, I got a little charging cable right here, Chad. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Here, wait, let's go. There we go. We got that plugged in there. Now we got this plugged in here. Wait, oh, I'm finagling some cables underneath my desk. I'm on it. Baba booey, baba booey. Doo doo's on it. There we go. Nice. Oh my. We'll try our best. Mercedes, Luna love good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, yo, freaking Ash, boom, got her right in the thigh. What's up? Oh, my. oh, she brought down Thor's lightning on top of her. Dorothy, that's why you're one of the women I'm looking at right now. You're just like, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You think you, oh, I'm going to slice and dice you, man. You thought you could attack the professor? Okay, so now, so now we can take these guys. Okay, now we got ourselves a battle here. Now we got ourselves a battle here, YouTube. See, I'm going after... This guy thought he could tango with me. Watch him die. Watch him... Hey, you thought you could hit me back, huh? Oh, nice try. Because now... You see, she can go and attack them. So... But Ferdinand can only go so far. So Ferdinand's gonna finish you off, bud. Gah, stabbed in the heart. Oh, unthinkable. Yeah, I thought of it. I thought of it quite a bit. I was pretty confident that was going to happen. Okay, now, Petra. You and Dorothea here again. Tag Team Ash. Yeah, you go in there and you freaking yeet him. Oh, dude, Petra on the battlefield. She's freaking ready to tango. Her sword's a little rusty, though. All right, now, Dorothea here. Hmm. Can she attack from a distance? Oh, yeah, so finish him off. Bring down the thunder. Nice. So strong. Yeah. Have to do better next time. Dimitri's like, maybe we can lure the enemies over here with Ash. And I'm like, actually, I'm gonna bring down Thor's lightning on Ash, and he's gonna so die. Easily. Nice, super legit. Which now gives Edelgard the opportunity to kind of reposition here, get herself paired, get herself paired up with Petra to have some support nearby. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. <laughs> Claude's like looking at the blood on the field like, oh my gosh, she's not messing around. He struck one of my students with lightning. This guy's not, he's, he's not taking it lightly at all. All right. 
Yeah, come on, Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, you think you can hurt Dorothy there? Yeah, she's got lightning on her side, pal. Everyone thinks they can hurt her, huh? But watch this. Watch this. I shouldn't strain myself. Oh, no, that... See, we don't want that, because he has the bow and arrow. He can attack at a distance, too. But he can't use his little puny bow and arrow to attack Ferdinand here. Although... Could I just go ahead and finish him off? Hmm. Let's actually, we gotta get Ferdinand moving up here. So let's get him moving up to attack. He doesn't even need the support unit there. So he can, he can stab Harry Potter in the freaking throat there. And then, which now that allows Dorothea to move over here, attack from a little corner position. And even though he can do damage to her to get her down to three health, he's not gonna have the opportunity to do so because she's gonna attack first. Bring him down to I've Chinatown, lost. and he's gap. Yep, the so there we go. The professor is quite a commander. Yep, we're figuring things out here. This isn't my first rodeo in Fire Emblem, buddy. Now we got Dorothea leveling up there. Well. Like what you see? Uh-huh. Okay, now that gives us the opportunity. I want to save Dimitri for last. Claude, I'm coming for you. I'm going to cut your legs off in the battlefield. So I'm going to go ahead and move um, my little guy over there. Petra, you stay close behind. Edelgard, you lead the charge. Perfect. They're all dying, one by one. Let's use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. <laughs> you can't hide in the woods, Claude. I'm gonna kill you. They told Still you who I am. In the forest. We do well to take a detour. Oh, for sure. Yeah, let's go. Let's go around him. Let's go around him. Everyone, cross the crack. Go across the battlefield, my minions. Petra, follow behind. Yes. Ferdinand, follow shortly. Dorothea, you're lagging. Okay. Now, who's this little pipsqueak? Hilda, you're about to die. We're gonna we're gonna ambush you right from the side. We're gonna draw you out of the woods. There we go. They have no idea what's about to strike them from the west. Dorothea, if you lag one more time and, and linger behind, so help me. All right, now, everyone, get into Hilda's zone here. We're going to rally up. She, we're going to draw her out, you see. Fernand, you support Edelgard. Dorothea, you be ready to attack with your magic. Perfect. Hilda, come on out. Well, we're surrounded. <laughs> Yep, all Claude. All we can do is fight back with all our might. Yep, Claude, you're about to die. He, he wait, he didn't even move. Oh, Claude. Oh, Claude, you you sneaky Pete. You're making us come to you, huh? Well, alrighty then. Can I even? Oh gosh. This and this hill here is unavailable. Okay. Now here's what we're gonna do. Oh gosh. Because he can attack from quite a distance there with his little bow and arrow. So I'm going to need to go in. Now wait. So let's just isolate Claude and Hilda there. So Manuela here, she ain't getting that far. So I can go around here. And I'm in a freaking combat art with my Wrath Strike. And my Iron Sword. Right on Hilda here. I'm going to freaking yeet her hardcore. <laughs> Didn't see that coming now, did ya? Oh, level up! <laughs> so I'm talking about. We must all do about. our part. All do our part. Everyone work together. All this. Oh, nice. That now allows. Wait, does that limit his mobility all around? Okay, he can still attack almost everything. Now, anyone else have a ranged ability that they can kind of get in here with? Now, Dorothea, you're a little. You're a little tuckered. You got that 10 HP. What would happen in a hypothetical situation? Oh wait, did her th did her thunder break? How come her thunder's not working? To attack from the distance? Could it not go over? Huh? I wonder why it can't go over that little area there. Okay. Can we get Petra? Can you move in close and get close to myself here? Thank you. Let's all let's all group up, because right now I'm gonna take pretty much all the hits from Hilda and Claude, and we can't have me fall. So we I, we gotta pray that I'm ready to go. Coming up with brilliant schemes that can handle no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. Wait, why are you fighting then? 
<laughs> I'm just like, uh, you know, it was a joke, right? Chase, not so much as a smile. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Oh gosh, dude, freaking crap! Hilda's gonna come in and freaking eat me, dude. Uh oh. No! Hilda! No! No! We were doing so dang good. This is like easy mode. Oh gosh, I can imagine the comments right now. Oh, Kaz got a game over on the beginning battle. Retain experience and get game thus far and retreat to the start of the battle. Wait, why would I retain experience? Sure, yeah, let's start over. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have freaking gone. I shouldn't have gone in there myself. But it, it, they drew me into the woods. That was so tactical, Claude. Claude, you and your brilliant little scheming, you got me. Okay, now wait. Do I have my support all picked out correctly? Or no, my units? Okay, perfect. All right, let's fight. Now here's the deal. Begin the battle, sure. The mock battle is finally here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now here's the thing. I'm, I'm sure gonna... you already understand. Yeah. But the house that defeats. Ba 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 booey ba ba booey. Now real quick. Options, combat animations, um, off. Assist animations off. Battle speed fast. Um, I'm gonna try this for a moment here and just see if we can kind of speed it up a little bit. <clears throat> Let's select all these guys here. Just like we did the previous time. We're going to plow through this beginning part here. And we got to handle our strategy better with Claude next time around. Not going to let him get the better of me there. It, it, I should have healed myself before I wandered Stay in focused. there. I was so weak. I, even th I was getting shield. cocky. That's my real problem, I YouTube. That was my I real problem. I just, got, I just got... I just got... I will just so... Up. I just didn't think I could get hit. I didn't think I could get hurt. None of your shallow attack. And it showed. They attacked me. They got me. They plowed right through me. And it was just, it was just a horrible thing and a half. All right. So now we're gonna knock these guys out again. Yeah, for sure. You know, I do like that kind of going a little bit fast. I may turn it back on once we get caught up. But for the sake of kind of going a little bit fast here. Um. Wait. So now I just attack. Wait. 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 Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Um. Get this guy knocked out here. Got him. And then uh, Petra, can you come in and finish him off there? Thank you. I've lost. Uh, I've lost. Yeah. You have, dummy. All right. Now, these guys are pretty much fair game. So let's bring in. Um, actually, wait a second. Let's have Edelgard go in first. Attack him. Oh, wait. He missed. Wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't even know he could do something like that. All right, now thunder him, perfect. Man, the animations are still pretty great on the battlefield. And then um, Ferdinand will bring in to give some support in there. Okay, wait, we're doing things a little bit different this time because I don't remember our exact strategy. Um, but I think my the important thing to do after this little initial scuffle here is to heal ourselves. I don't know if I have any voluntary, whatever it is called. We'll, we'll bring Petra in here. Petra's gonna yeet Harry Potter out the wazoo. Yep, he's out. Edelgard, real quick before we move on to a different part of the battle, is going to finish off Ash here. Actually, wait, he could need just a little reminder myself. of his place in life. So let's go ahead and finish him off there. Yep, thank you, Dorothy. Perfect, fantastic. And then Kaz, you're going to come over here, and you're going to go bada beam, bada boom. And then Ferdinand's going to come. He's going to start leading the charge over to Claude. Perfect. Let's use now, the force. Let's use the force. Use the force, Luke. If they're waiting in the. Okay. Yep. So now let's go back to our options here. And let's get um, let's get animations turned back on. Perfect. Now that we're kind of back into the swing of things. Now, could I go here and use an item? Perfect. Let's get myself healed up. I want max health for everyone coming into this battle. And we're gonna try something here. YouTube. I got my I got my my lovely little friend here, Dorothy. And we're gonna see. If she can just break down this barrier here. Okay, maybe it'll take another hit. But we're all gonna we're all gonna wait here. 
ends. Now, actually, hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Dorothy, I'm going to need you to actually go ahead and heal yourself up as well. She's still at 20 out of 24 health. Okay, now wait a, wait a moment. Because once Dorothy blasts down That's this wall key. here... Oh, wait. Is she already out of... Is she already out of her little thing here? Hmm. Okay, so he could blast that down. Okay, so we want one of our weaker people here. Petra. I'm gonna have you go in. I'm gonna have you blast down this wall here. It's the, It only has five health left. So blast it! Oh, and she leveled up too. Great. Proud of you. I am greater now. Sure. And now... We can all move in to combat art this piece of crap here. Take this, Claude. You know that yeah! Nice. Got him. But here's the deal. Here's the thing. Hmm. I actually, wait. I don't know if I thought this through. Okay, now wait a second. Wait a second. So, Dorothy. Okay, you're not strong enough to knock down that barrier there. Neither is, so Edelgard's the only one strong enough to knock down this barrier. Okay. Now. Also but pulling out the combat arts here with your iron lance to freaking yeet Hilda into a new dimension. There we go. Perfect. Now, Dorothy, I don't think you can do anything here, right? You can't do jack freaking squat. So you're just going to offer your support. You're just going to wait right here. And let's hope nothing bad happens. Oh gosh, Petra, you okay? At least they're attacking you because you're weaker. And they're trying to get Edelgard there. Okay, but now, Petra will get you healed up, but now I can stare Claude straight in the face here and attack him and yeah, take that, Claude. That's what you get for freaking killing me in a previous life. Look at that, in seven minutes, we turn the whole battle around. Another step forward, that's what I'm talking about. This time we would just keep the director right through their barriers. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. Okay, Claude. Nice. Ferdinand, finish her off. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> you think you can you think you can do something like that? I don't think so. Now, Dorothy, you go in here and finish her off. Okay, how come no one can kill her? You, you got what what are you doing? Are you swinging around a stick? Dorothy, where'd you even get that? Where'd you even get that thing? It's pathetic. All right, now do you have any? You have another potion here? There you go. Use it. Okay, now Hilda's gonna Hilda's gonna try to stir some crap here. Yeah, she's throwing her axe all around. We gotta take her out. I don't know how I sent my weakest people after her. Dorothy, can you finish the job here? Man, you're only doing six health or yeah, six hit points. Ferdinand, you can't even do it. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, how come no one can no one can hit her? She's a little girl. She's just Hilda. Oh my gosh. All right, now Dorothy. There you go, Dorothy. Finish it off. There you go. Hit her with the. Oh, there it goes. Oof. Was that really necessary? Yeah, we beat you with a wooden stick like 30 times to finish you off. Dorothy, we need to get you a better weapon. Holy crap! I want to be all I can. Yeah, you're gonna need more than that wooden stick. You freaking loser! My gosh. All right, now Kaz, you go ahead and move up to the front lines there. Edelgard, you go ahead and whip around here. We'll, you'll meet him. We're gonna take down this professor up here, up yonder way. We'll go through the woods. Actually, it'd probably be easier for you to go around the woods. Right here. Perfect. All right. We're all going to regroup on the professor up here. Yep. Stay outside the danger zone. Edelgard, you're going to need to heal yourself up. Awesome. I didn't realize their health bar was a little circle underneath their little thing. Before you're like, oh, kids, you didn't know that? Guys, I've been playing the game for like an hour. Get off my back. All right, now perfect. Uh, I don't even know why we have to fight this professor. Like, why are they on the battlefield? Like, what are they doing? Why are they here? All right, now first things first. I guess I'm gonna go in and lead the charge. Let's go ahead and once again use my combat arts. I don't know if I should be using these less often, but I like using them to do an initial blow. Like, yeah! Uh, oh dang, she's got like freaking spells out the wazoo there. All right, okay, okay. Take it easy, lady. Prevail. Now Edelgard, I'm gonna have you come in with your combat arts as well, your iron axe, and you're gonna finish the job. Whoa, pow! Got him. Well done. Well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. <laughs> There's like a freaking axe in her neck. She's just like, oh. blood's gushing out of her throat. She's like, well, well done, student. You, d you done what did good. My, my gosh, nice. Everyone's leveling up. 
I love how the music's the One same when people level up. One step at a time. Perfect. Fantastic. So, you've made it past Manuela, <laughs> eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. Hannah Man's like, oh crap, man. You, you, so I see you made it past Manuela. You're coming for me next, huh? I gotta focus. They're coming for me. Like, were, were, were these freaking just psychopath students going across the battlefield like, Gah! 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 And he, he's just watching from the distance, just watching the blood splatter, the thunder come down. He's just like, oh, crap. Like, they, they didn't spare Manuela? She wasn't even supposed to be a part of the battle. Like, she, <laughs> that's like the plot twist. Like, she wasn't even supposed to be fighting. It's just all about the students. Hannah, Hannah Man's like, oh, crap. Like, these, these kids ain't messing around here. Beautiful work, Professor. But the true challenge starts now. Yeah, Dimitri, I saved you for last. You and Dudu, because you guys are my arch nemesis. I. Nice. Perfect. Dudu, what do you got to say? You're just charging up? Oh, Mercedes? Oh, man. You guys are so cool. Blue Lions are legit. Shout out to the Blue Lions. I still have yet to meet anyone from the Golden Deer that make me remotely interested. All right. Now, crap. They freaking, they're freaking bringing the heat here. Oh, gosh. Dorothy's kind of... I didn't think they were going to be charging into us like that. Um, Dude, Dorothy's like freaking weak right now. Oh, gosh. This is scary. Okay, Dorothy, I'm going to need you to do a tactical retreat here. I, I want you to only be in Mercedes' line of sight here. Let's all just get in Mercedes' spot here. So does this show that she's going to be attacking Dorothy then? Okay. They kind of just flat out tell you, just so you know, she's still attacking Dorothy. Nothing has made her change her mind. Is she going to attack Dorothy here now? Yeah. Yeah, she did. She still went for Dorothy. Okay. Or Dorothea. I get it. All right. Now then. What is happening? Man, Dimitri has a great range there too. Holy crap. Okay, so time to start taking these people out one by one. No time to dilly doubt. We gotta use our combat arts. Ferdinand's gotta cut Mercedes in half. Okay. Now what happened? Okay, I'm actually gonna, I'm just gonna heal you up. Wait, thunder. Oh wait, it's out of, okay. She only gets like four uses a uh, uh, battle or something. Okay. I'm just gonna have her heal up here. Now, Edelgard, if there's anyone, or myself and Edelgard, if there's anyone that could probably, you know, hit the most, it would be them. But Dimitri here has just such an insane range. Someone's gonna have to go in and and get ready to get ready to fight that there. Now, could Petra, Petra, could you theoretically take out Mercedes here? You could. Okay, that's good to know. And Edelgard, could you? Man, controls are kind of getting a little wonky here. So then, so then Kaz could probably go in where Mercedes is currently standing, take out Dudu. Edelgard could also help take out Dudu, which then would only leave Dimitri. So Petra, you go in here and you attack with your iron sword and you finish off um, Mercedes. Perfect, thank you. I will not be stopping. Petra, you're a rock star, MVP. Now that allows me to move in here and combat art Dudu with my iron sword. Awesome. Dudu, I didn't mean to do this. I planted your seed. And hopefully, Edelgard can come in here. And also with a combat art, finish. Oh, he, she can't finish him off. Okay, can she? Does that do even more damage? No. And then she's going to be at 11 health. Oh, crap, chat. I actually don't know if she can handle that fight right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give. We're gonna have her heal up a little bit. We're going to have her get max health. I know it's kind of a waste of the things. It can heal way more than that. Okay. Wait, whoa! Dude, where did Petra get that freaking critical move coming out of there? She freaking wounded Dimitri like a boss. And then she took a hit by Dudu? Petra, you MVP! Oh, gosh. Hard work this. Hard work create. Dude, yeah, she can't even speak English. And she's coming in here. She held off Dimitri and Dudu all on her own. Oh, my gosh. Now let's finish off Dudu. Or opponent, Dimitri. But I refuse to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. Oh, you're going down. Yeah. Oh, look at him stagger. 
That's awesome. That's perfect. Such power dwells within. For sure. My training was insufficient. <laughs> I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. I like how he's like, I will not fail. I will not yield. I will not go down. And then he, he loses. Oh, man. I guess I didn't train enough. Okay. I'm so sorry. Whoops. Whoops. Right now, Petra. Okay, Petra, I would have you finish off Doo Doo because you're a freaking boss, but I don't think you're in any shape to fight. And if you miss your attack, that'd be some bad news. Dorothy, you're not going to be able to finish the job, but I want you to get some experience. So go ahead and swing your sword around and have some fun. Yeah, you didn't really do much there, but it was kind of cute, huh? All right, now you can finish off Doo Doo. Apologies, Your Highness. I can go no further. It's all good, Doo Doo. How was that? Yeah, oh, okay, take it easy. You're swinging that axe around. You're having a great time. All right, now we gotta go finish off the professor over here, this poor little guy. Petra, you lead the charge because you're freaking been a boss this whole time. Ferdinand, you follow behind. Wait a second. All righty. We're gonna, we're gonna surround him and take him out. And he should, he should be an easy fight. Caution is needed. We don't even need to use any more vol, vol I don't even know what they're myself. called. Those health potions. We should be good to go. Awesome. Now, could I get in here and just knock him out? Yep. <laughs> He's like, oh, please, but no, Kaz, no. Battle experience is, well, I was as good as useless. Yep, good as useless. <laughs> as expected. As expected. I knew you'd be useless. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... Black Eagles. The Black Eagle House. Yeah, why? That's Even what I'm talking it was about. It's just a mock battle. We defeated both houses masterfully. Mm -hmm. Take pride in this victory, everyone. We freaking demolished them. They didn't even attack each other. We knocked out both of them. They did nothing until we came along. We led the whole charge. Oh, stage complete. Rivalry of the house is turn 16. Yeah. Petra was MVP, dude. Yeah, get a screenshot of that. Holy crap. Dude, when they brought out that critical and then took the heat of Dudu and Dimitri and then still held on to one health, Petra. Petra. Petra's motivation is maxed out. I'm buying them a meal they actually enjoy. Next time we're in the dining hall, I'm treating them to a beautiful meal. They deserve it. My thank you so much. Yeah, Petra. Awesome. Rockstar. Super cool. Super legit. Excellent work today, Professor. <sighs> thank you. Though our victory should come as no surprise. Uh... I'm just saying, there was a real possibility that we could have ratted around the forest and got completely yeeted, but I had a little bit of a thing in my head that told me to maybe just go right through the barriers. It was a close call, that's for sure. Was for it? Sure. I'm not sure I agree with that. I don't, I don't think you had any idea how close we were to losing, because we did lose at one point. Oh, that wow. Impressing, Professor. They coordinated that step in. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. Petra, you were the MVP. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. Oh, Dorothea, you actually were the worthless one on the battlefield. <clears throat> you just had that stupid little wooden stick. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. Ferdinand, I don't know why I thought you were so tough, but you're actually just like everyone else. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. Um, did you guys not see that Petra was MVP? And Hubert, you weren't even on the battlefield. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Guys, you aren't even focusing on Petra. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. Casper, you didn't win. I didn't select you because you were such a butthole here in the academy that I didn't even want you on my battlefield. I'm all done with being in the battlefield, okay? You were there. I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. That's why I let you stay in your room. Why did you even show up? You were all as ridiculous as always. Oh, gosh, you guys are so silly. We only managed to win because we worked together. Oh, okay. Let's not get cheesy here, Was Edelgard. Was something I said? Yeah, you're getting a little, you're getting a little corny. And is it so odd me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivity so we can discuss this topic further. Don't get all after school special on me, Edelgard. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. Yeah, let's go. Let's just go get. Let's 
pull out the white claws and just party it up. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now I'm I'm getting my I'm getting my seat next to Petra there. I mean, go sit next to him and be like, hey, Your I noticed you were doing great on the battlefield. Was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. Why do you guys all have green hair? I don't I understand. I did hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I did bond. Yep. I did. I, yep. That's I'm my option. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. I think we're all going to grow pretty close with each of other. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. Wait, what? Wait. So blue lion is our enemy? You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. Okay, so so the eagles and the lions are a separate thing? I'm, anyone Ask else kind of confused? Today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Man, you guys do things really strictly by this calendar. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. <laughs> oh, it's feeling like a Fire Emblem game. All right, there's some bandits wandering near a village nearby. Go, go to clean them out. Bandits? Like, that's those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need. Sure. Regardless of social standing. I mean, it just seems like... Did you see me fighting, bringing down Thor's lightning on people? Thor's thunder. And you want me to go take out bandits? Students are no exception. <sighs> each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. Newly birthed moon? You guys have no idea how... Anything works. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. Although I just said that, like that they're talking about the moon, the moon being birthed, and I'm like, you guys have no idea how science works. But I'm not completely sure where the moon came from in real life. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure how that science works. Like, where'd the moon come from? What? I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. My gosh, why you have, I, I just led my whole class to victory. I'm an awesome tactician. You should assume I also have a great memory. I can sense something special within your heart. Hmm. I have high hopes for you. I hear it's like heartburn or something. I got some flames in my crest, so I'm not too sure what's going on. Bandits, uh, they say. Oh, another green-haired lady. The thing? Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Oh gosh, that was kind of daunting. She's like, remember the first time we were hanging out? And you almost got stabbed in half by a bandit? That's not gonna happen again now, is it? So saucy, so so slyly. It's like, oh my gosh, this is kind of scary music going on. Man, my guy my guy is just like horrified. He keeps so close no to death. Words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. Well, you've been quiet for like three hours. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Wait, you're like always with me? Like even when I'm pooping? Like I'm taking a dump and she's just like kind of watching? I bet she's napping during those moments. Right, okay, right, yeah, okay. Oof, okay, I, I, I guess I understand now. I get it. You're always in my what head. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. Oh my gosh, Hammerhead, what is, what's going on? No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless. Wait, a robot? Distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite Whoa. the setback. But now a child of the knight's former captain is in play. Oh my gosh. How interesting. This is getting bigger than we all expected. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Wait, there's, there's some bigger plot lines going on here than I ever anticipated. Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? Oh, the bandits weren't just bandits. There's a larger thing at play here. You die. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't kill him. Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. No, he the could- The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Oh my gosh, what a daunting last thing to hear in your life. He's just a bandit. He doesn't now deserve- Now locate your replacements. Oh my gosh, no. Wait, get back here. Damn you. You forgot to kill him, though. You didn't kill him. You said you were going to kill him, and you just kind of- You just yeeted out of there. Okay, well, okay. Save my progress. New chapter. Wait, is this a new chapter now? An item look. I kind of okay. <gasps> White clouds. Part one. White clouds. Harpstring moon. <laughs> Familiar scenery. Okay. Okay. Well, 
I think this is where we end up our let's play. Should we end to watch this video though? Okay. In <laughs> honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. It's freaking audible man again. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. Is anyone else listening to what he's saying? Like, like, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? Who are you talking to? I don't understand. Like, what, what, what? Is, so, he's, so he's just like the weatherman. He's just kind of going over the weather for the next month or so. It's, it, we just do the chapters by the month here or something. I'm not too sure what's going on. I'm not too sure what the point of that guy is. But, okay. There are new places to explore in the monastery. You receive 2,000 J from the Church of Saros. It's funny for this month's activities. Baba, baba booey, baba booey. Nice little loading thing. As and... you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Okay, is there like a good stopping point here? Our students have been learning about combat through study. But this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. Yes, yeah, so we had our mock battle, now we're going to go do our practical battle, okay? The knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. Okay, perfect. Cool, In we got short, some... This is no mock battle. People will die. You must be prepared for anything. People will actually die this you time. You will receive a message from the knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. Perfect. So we got so we can explore the monastery next time, next episode, and then we're going to go into our battle. Sounds the great. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. Yeah, I doubt you'll save me. Let's just let's just do our best. Let's just let's, The knights are well aware of our enemy strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. Nice, cool. We got some knights helping it us out. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You'd be so you'd be surprised how easily people can die in the battlefield. Just one little mistake, You're and next thing you know. Well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? I'm actually having a good time. There's a little lady I'm gonna pursue, all that stuff. I think so. I think I'm doing good. People are oh, hanging out, there's a I dining didn't hall. Expect that answer. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. There's some cool people here. Some freaks, but also good people. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. And now I'm handling everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? No, I'm kind of an introvert. I would I agree. I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm having panic attacks almost every hour and going to the bathroom to take deep breaths. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. Uh, By the uh, way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? Yep, yep, next episode, for That's sure. That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. Yeah, and some of them are still using wooden swords, so they could kind of get yeeted right out of oblivion. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I like how he says it'll be tougher to sleep at night. Like, you'll still fall asleep. You'll be fine if you let one of these little kids die, but it'll be a little bit harder. Gonna have to kind of flip your pillow over a few more times. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. Yeah, you and Rhea have a history of some sort. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. Yeah, you get to the bottom of things, man. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down. Ever. Okay, Dad. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for the pep talk. Thank you for the fun time. That was a good conversation. All right, so what are we? We're in the Harpstring Moon, so this is like, what, February? And it's a Sunday. And then we got ourselves a birthday. Whose birthday is it? And Nets? Sure. Oh, thank take, you. Yeah, sure. Take the money. Whatever. And now we got ourselves uh, some quests today. Nice. Okay. You have allies who will take the beginner exams. Take a look at the certifications to review which they can take. We got some beginner seals. The monastery holds events. Oh, wait. We got to get into our voice. The monastery holds events with various effects, such as those which increase the benefits and sh of the share meal activity for certain characters. These events will appear on the calendar. Select explore on your day off to participate. Nice. Okay, so let's um, so explore. Would you like to explore the monastery now? Seminar. You cannot be selected. Battle. You cannot be selected. Perfect. Great. Fantastic. All right. So, on the next episode of YouTube.com/slash/CasRisk, we will go. We're gonna. We have some events going on. Some large fish bonding bites. Um, we can we can go share a meal, do some gardening, do some choir practice. Apparently, apparently that's a thing. People singing. <laughs> 
We can cook together. We can also go fishing. Sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Lots to do. Revu we can review this month's schedule. Press the A button to view review events or skip ahead to a certain date. Um, it looks like, I don't know what's going on in this day. It looks like maybe that's an opportunity to save my game or something. I'm not too sure what that little thing is there. Um, and then next week, it's Raphael's birthday. We got some uh, cleanup battle. Uh, certifications, things like that. Gardening, share meal, choir practice. I don't know what the cleanup battle is. Kind of an interesting little thing there. Um, Saint Masuel Day, whatever that means. They got themselves a whole f made up lore here. Um, looks like the Sunday after that is just a couple seminars, certifications, rest, all that good stuff. Gardening, whatever you want to do. Mercedes has their birthday coming up. Super legit, super hype, super fantastic. And then we have the Eliminate the Bandits at the end of the month. So we have a few weekends, a few weekends to have some fun, and then we'll go ahead and we'll get to that Battle of the Bandits. So in the next episode then, we're going to hop straight into the activities. It'll probably be released. What is, I think you may be watching this on Thursday. I don't, I don't want to say too much because I may throw off my whole schedule. Um, but you'll see this in the next episode. I'm trying to do about one or two episodes a week. So probably in the next couple episodes, we'll have our whole trip around the monastery, building up our support conversations, things like that. And in the next episode after that, we'll eliminate the bandits and have a good time there. So now can I, uh, can I go to the menu here, hit the save button. Would you look at that? Three hours in. Perfect. Perfect. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. We're on chapter two. Thank you so much for tuning in to youtube.com. Wait, whoop. Thank you so much for tuning in to youtube.com slash kazrisk. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to click the like and subscribe button as well as that little bell to be notified of when I go live. You know, the whole YouTube rigmarole. Rigmarole? I don't know. Um, I will say this though, your likes and comments and subscriptions and all that really do go a long way. Um, as this early creator, when I see that YouTube subscribe button going up and knowing that new people are following the content, it honestly helps a lot. And when I see people liking the video, it shows that people not only, you know, clicked it and viewed it, but actually enjoyed the content. And the comments even then go an extra step to really show that people are engaging with the material. Um, it's stuff like that that really motivates me to keep making the content. Because honestly, when you just push out a bunch of videos and no one's watching them or liking them, you kind of are just like, all right, I'm not going to make it anymore. And then you find out later, like, wait a second, people were enjoying it. They just never commented. So don't be that person. Be sure to be the person that likes and comments and um lets me know what you're thinking even if it's a quick comment that just says love the series it honestly goes a long way so uh be sure to do all that and also if you want to chat and hang out with me live i do live stream over on twitch.tv slash cast risk whoa my mic just almost fell off oh my gosh um i do live stream over at twitch.tv slash cast risk uh, we live stream a lot of mario maker we do viewer levels and multiplayer and some kaizo stuff um, we've also been experimenting with Minecraft a little bit. We got a realm set up for some of the um, hardcore subscribers and VIPs of the channel. Um, and we've dabbled in some other games before, things like that. I'm always kind of up for exploring new games on that channel. So be sure to head over to twitch.tv slash kazrisk if you want to hang out even more. Join the Discord, follow me on social media. All that stuff is in the description below. But I'll see you next time where we're going to go explore the Academy and have ourselves a good time. I'll see you then. But until next time, bye!